team fullest this is Hagar amy welcome back to my channel welcome to cake of my canal i'm here again today with another hair treatment day so today i'm going to do detangle deep conditioner and then later i'm going to wash the hair i'm going to do some protective hairstyle last week we didn't do a protective hairstyle so i just washed the hair and she asked me if she can wear the hair in a ponytail like a puff like that so i was like no problem it's also good to leave the hair sometimes to breathe so that's what we did the whole of the week she just rocked the hair like that and all i was doing the whole of that week i was just making my own diy leave-in hair spray i go between the ingredients of rosemary and um, uh, fenugreek and clove water so that's what i was using and her hair has grown out so much the third of april is going to be three years um since i did her big chop and you guys can see how long her hair is not only the 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 length also like how thick and healthy her hair is her baby line when i do protective hairstyle i really don't put a lot of pressure on the hairline and i'm also very gentle with my kate's hair detangle i love detangle because when you detangle the hair um really nice when you do a really good detangle it also helps minimize breakage breakage and excessive shedding when you because when you detangle the hair properly and then when you wash the hair when it's time to wash the hair you will find out that it's very very easy to wash and when you are styling the hair also the process is a bit easier when you do a proper detangle so for me detangle is something i don't really play with i really take my time to do detangle once and um, once a month it depends on how long the protective hairstyle is on the kids hair once a month i really take out one day um, one weekend in the month to just sit down and like do a proper detangle, wash the hair, style the hair and then leave the hair like that. And then in between whilst the hair is on a protective hairstyle, what I do is I make DIY hair oil. I use my DIY oil that I have been using to experiment on my kids hair. Since I did her big job, all I have been using is my own hair products. The only... um product that i've been using that it's not mine when it comes to oil it's just like the shampoo the conditioner and the moisturizer i use so i use the giovanni um hair product i pick it up um, a couple of months ago and i really love the way um the kids hair felt when i use the giovanni hair product i use it mostly to detangle and i also mix it with my my oil my diy oil that i make which is the onions oil so i have this onion oil that i use i made this one so whenever i'm doing detangling and when i'm ready when when the kids are ready to sit underneath the steaming cap i kind of like massage the oil on the scalp put a plastic and put a shower cap on and then i let them sit underneath the steaming cap i try to do this at least um once once or twice a month to depend on the how long the protective hairstyle is on their head and I use the Blue Magic Leave-In Conditioner um, Moisturizer. I really, the kids hair really, really love that. Even though I get comments like, oh, the ingredients are not all natural. But trust me, my kids hair loves it. It makes their hair feel really soft, really nice. And I have not had any issue using it. So those are like the two products I use more. The Giovanni Shampoo um, Conditioner and i also have my diy hair oil i also have my diy hair butter which i also use which contained shea butter coconut oil cocoa butter and uh, my diy oil so i mix that so that's what i use on the kids hair and um that has been helping a lot and also i try my best to like not to play with the hair um all the time you know i wash the hair i Put a protective hairstyle and then i just leave it and i just go in with some hairspray rosemary hairspray is very very good so sometimes i make the rosemary hairspray and i also add a little bit of my own diy hair oil in it and every morning um 
when they take shower before they go to school, I kind of like spray the, the, the hairspray on their head. And then I go in with my um, body, with my hair butter mix with the shea butter and I just rub it on my hand and I just like rub it on top of the hair just to like lock, lock in the, the leaving um, hairspray that I just apply on their hair. And um, I try to scalp the hair with my hair growth oil every two to three days. I try to do that because sometimes the hair, the hair scalp will look extremely dry. And then I will go in with the hair oil. So the hair oil, I do it every two to three days. And then I massage the oil. I massage it with my finger. And then I also focus on the end of the hair that if I'm not, I don't have any, any, any extension on their hair. Sometimes I do add extension so that the hairstyle lasts for a little bit over two to three weeks and sometimes i don't add extensions so the days that i don't had extensions i also try to like oil the ends of the hair because that is the oldest part of the hair and so far i've been really seeing a great result with my method what i have been doing so far with the kids hair and it's turning out really nice so this is my um onions oil i have this is the new one i make and I just like to massage it on the scalp and also put it on the ends of the hair. And then I let them sit underneath this um, um, heating cap for at least like 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, it depends on how long they want to have it on their head. And then I also focus on the ends because the ends is like one of the oldest parts. I also do um, trim the kids' ends, but not that much. I just take a little bit and I just trim because their ends is not really damaged. I don't use a lot of heat on the kids' hair. So it's not really damaged, but I do also kind of like cut a little bit off um, once in a while. So now I'm just going to pull like a plastic bag, just a normal plastic bag. And then I'll put a, a shower cap on and I'll just let her sit underneath the, 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 the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes and just let her watch her movie with josephine the hair process is becoming a little bit chiller because now she's getting older so she's able to like manage no it's a little bit painful sometimes when it comes to dealing with natural hair with kids but she's been really handling this a little bit uh better now because she's growing older which i'm very very proud and very very proud of her so now that josephine is sitting down underneath the steaming cap now i'm going to do alia's hair alia's hair is really long her hair is really long she has been begging me to blow dry her hair for the longest time but i don't want to do it myself um in the area where i live they don't really have like hairstylists that knows how to handle this type of hair so i'm kind of like no nah, your curls are really beautiful don't straight it yet don't blow dry it yet but eventually one day i will have to do it so yeah but for now she also decided to have the hair on a puff so we go between um protective hairstyle and sometimes they just wear their hair on the puff like that so for a week or two but then i do the same thing both of the kids i use the same hair product on their hair same hair product i don't have different products for all of them i just use the same so the same rosemary water the same fenugreek water i will make i will use it for both of them the same um clove water i will make i will use it for both of them and i also use the same um leave-in conditioner and i also use the same giovanni hair products and um, that's what i've been using and so far i've seen really great results with the method that i have been using for the kids hair alias hair has grown out so so much and i'm extremely happy the way things are going and i also use my hair growth oil on her hair the onions oil i only use it when it's time to do um deep conditioner when it's time to like hair day in the house that's when i use the onions oil because they don't really like the smell but because they are in the house and i like to like massage it on the scalp and then let them sit underneath the dryer for couple of minutes just for the oil to penetrate and so they don't mind because after then i'm going to wash it so they really don't mind but i don't use the 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 onions oil on their hair if it's not um hair wash day so that is what i'm doing right now i am like 
putting the hair all over the the oil over all over the head and then i'm just going to like massage the oil and then also i'll put it at the end and um yeah the hair is really really long alia's hair is really long and it's really healthy and um extremely just graceful and she's happy with her hair sometimes you just want to hair wear her natural hair but alia's hair when it's dry when the hair is like this it looks it looks small but as soon as the hair dry up if you don't like put the hair in a protective hairstyle she will have this very big puffy hair her hair is very puffy and it's very very big you know and that's why most of the time i just like her to be in a protective hairstyle in the summer i don't mind but like when the place is very cold right now in the winter, I prefer she, she just put the hair in a protective hairstyle just so that the hair doesn't break because sometimes it can be very, very cold. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let her um, also sit underneath the dryer because then Josephine has been sitting now for quite, oh, for quite some time now. So now I'm going to put a plastic bag on Alia's hair and then she's going to exchange place with Josephine. So now I'm just going to wash Josephine's hair.